Hey, when you start playing Angry Birds, do you ever wonder how high the Angry Bird needs to go to crash into stuff and get some points? Well, what you're thinking about there is you're thinking about um, how tall is this? That's the maximum height of the parabola, right? There's the maximum height. So the question is, what is that maximum height? And notice when you play Angry Birds, the angry bird travels in the height of a parabola. So if we could just figure out the maximum height um, of your parabola, right, you'd be able to figure out if it's going to hit what the target is and if you'll be able to get your points. Well, it turns out parabolas are symmetric, right? And the parabola, this right here, this line, this is called the axis of symmetry. And it's right in the middle of the parabola. And it's got a formula. You can get the axis of symmetry by saying opposite of b over 2a. Well, in order to have opposite of b over 2a, you need a function. Most quadratic functions are ax squared plus bx plus c. So if you had your function for the path of the angry bird, you'd be able to take whatever b is, take the opposite over it, and divide it by 2 times whatever a is. Well, in our problem, we do have a function, and we know a little bit of information here. First of all, we know that he starts out 4 feet above the ground, so that right here to here, that's 4 feet, right? And we also know how fast he's going. He's going at 48 feet per second. And when you use your formula, the b, that's like your velocity. So if you already know your velocity, it's like you know b. And this initial height, the 4 feet, that's what your c is, right? That's your initial height. And laws of gravity says that A, if it's downward, the, when you, things go up, they got to come down according to the laws of gravity. You need to make that be negative 16. So I can put all of that together and go ahead and write a formula. Let's go ahead and do that. I could say the height H is a function of time, right? The longer he's been in the air, the farther he travels and his height changes over time. So a height as a function of T would be equal to negative 6 teen multiplied by t raised to the second power plus that initial velocity, which is 48 feet per second squared, right, multiplied by, again, t plus his initial starting height, which is 4. Okay, so now I got my equation, and I can go ahead and figure out his axis of symmetry. So in this one, right, our a is negative 16, our b is 48, and c is 4. So if you got opposite of b over 2a, you're looking at opposite of 48 
over 2 times negative 16. Well, if you multiply out 2 times negative 16, that's negative 32, right? And then negative 48 divided by negative 32, go on your calculator, that's 1.5. And that's going to tell you the time it takes for him to get right here, and that's going to equal 1.5 seconds. So it's going to take him from the time he gets shot up to here, 1.5 seconds to reach that maximum height. Now the next question is, what is that maximum height? What you're going to do is you're going to take your 1.5 seconds, which is the answer to the first part of our problem, and you're going to plug it in for t right there. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to say h of 1.5 is equal to negative 16 times 1.5 squared plus 48 times 1.5 plus 4. Now if you go in your calculator, 1.5 squared is 2.25, and if you multiply 2.25 with negative 16, go on your calculator, you'll see that's negative 36. Plus 48 times 1.5, that's 72, plus, bring down your 4, right? Add that all up, and that equals 40 feet. So his height, how high will he go? He's going to go 40 feet. So there's our Angry Birds quadratics. And notice you can use math to get this maximum height. Maximum height equals 40 feet.